That guy, he's a murderer. <laughs> Welcome to Webtoon Wednesday, where every Wednesday we get together and we read a manga or webtoons, whatever y'all want to call it. But they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But one of my favorite things about Webtoons Wednesday is my motherfucking intro. <laughs> Welcome back to Prince JM2, AKA Prince I Came to Dream. If you came back to one of my videos or streams, you must be a fiend and that's okay. Cause you know, I'll be fiending y'all too. Uh, obviously y'all gonna say, aren't you wearing that in New Music Monday? Or was I wearing this in Webtoons Wednesday <clears throat> on New Music Monday? Hmm? I don't know what I was going there with that, but we are back with the guy upstairs and yes, we're getting straight into it. Let's go. <laughs> ah. Rosie? Hi, what? You're awake. Are you okay? I'm worried sick. Uh, this is... We're at a hospital. Hospital? Yes, you've been unconscious since last night. Are you looking for your glasses? Here. It's all broken though. But I think the frame is still fine. So you'll need to replace the lenses. Rosie? Wait here. I'll call the doctor. Wait, John, my throat is itching like a bitch. Wait. What happened to me? You passed out on the way to your apartment and hit your head. Then one of your neighbors found you and brought you to the hospital. My neighbor? Yes, he is. Sorry for the wait. Here's the coffee. Oh. You're awake. How are you feeling? Is the patient awake? Stay away from me! Doctor, arrest that guy quick! Him? Why? Rosie. Hey, well, come here. Don't get close to him. That guy, he's a murderer. A murderer? 
Hmm. Him? Yes, I saw everything. He killed someone right in front of my eyes. If you don't arrest him now, he's going to kill me too. Oh, uh, what she said? Sorry, I'm confused too. Is there a chance her brain created a false memory or something? Coffee? Uh, I'm working. Well, she did hit her head quite badly, so there's a possibility. Or it could be that she had a nightmare and couldn't distinguish her dream from reality. What the hell are you talking so casually about? I'm not a, it's not a dream or a false memory, it's real. Rosie, hear, hear me out. That guy, he was the one who found you unconscious. Then he carried you by himself to the ER. If it were not for his quick response, then something worse could have happened to you. He, he brought me here? Yeah, the hospital couldn't contact your guardian, so they called me instead. Oh, and they had to go through your phone. Sorry. If you really saw him kill someone, I think the hospital will be the last place he'll bring you to. straight last night you witnessed him killing someone in his house which you accidentally went into in the first place after that he found you injured and unconscious and brought you to the ER you woke up this morning and called the police while the murderer himself waited for the cops to arrive without any resistance Man, you're the most well-behaved criminal I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. There seems to be a misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding. I'm sure of it. I saw him use a kitchen knife to stab a pregnant woman. If you want, I can even tell you what he did last night in detail. Geez, I know. Calm down. Don't scream in my ears. I'm not deaf. Kids these days just don't respect their elders. Anyway, I wasn't lying. Please believe me. If you search his house, I'm sure you're going to find something. I don't mind. You don't need a warrant. That boy hitting them with that Ted Bundy. Well then. Miss, you 
don't have to follow us here. You live right downstairs, right? You may go home. Let me. I need to show where and how exactly the murder happened. Very well. It's bothering me. Why is he so cold? Why is he so cold? Why is he so cold? The cops are here and I'm about to expose them. I'm about to expose them. Cops are here and I'm about to expose them. With that innocent face and innocent eggs, no wonder no one here. here <laughs> that's the guy upstairs y'all what y'all think what y'all think y'all think you gonna find a body I don't, you know, honestly, big twist. They do find the body and he just start killing it. <laughs> He's like, everybody, get it. <laughs> it's Johnny. Um, but, uh, nah, uh, I really, uh, you know, uh, I think he hit the body. We already know that she's going to be trying to look for him. Kind of like, uh, the Shia LaBeouf movie, John, you remember that? That John was hard, but, uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. Sweet. You know what I'm saying? I thought they was going to make her forget her memory. Like I said in the last episode, I was like, oh, they're going to hit us with the memory for God, but she's going to slowly start remember. I love when I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I was wrong. And I guess my boy liked that. He out here killing people and getting away with it. We're going to find out, though. But like always, don't sleep on your boy like a sedative. Don't miss the come up from zero to a million. And life is only as big as we make it. And we're going to make that shit amazing. I'm out. Southern Arizona fell in love with Stella Angel Brown, yeah, cute face Charlotte graduate She's the type to make you hesitate Charlotte at a party, how you doing? What's your name, yeah Said she got chosen, that's a fire to the flame, yeah That's good what she into, she said anime games Wow